hello guys and welcome to the full stack project youtube channel in this quick tutorial i will be showing you how i used a file upload thing using nextjs uh, pages and also nextjs api so first of all you can see in my app router inside this rc folder i have created a folder called upload and inside i have created a page.tsx so in here you can see the form I have created to use in file upload so here you can see the route I have moved to upload and here we have our uh, file upload input so in here you can see every time uh, we upload a file this on change get triggered and also you can see I have used local store, st local store using new state to manage and store the file temporarily so for that i have used a use state hook so what happens is every time we upload a file this on change get triggers and this set state set file get called and we save the uploaded file using this e.target.files and using the uh, index array index so this gets saved in the local store and whenever we submit the submit function get triggers and we are handling this stored file value inside the submit function so what we do is we create a form data instance here so it's this is very easy to handle uh, form data using this form data object so we don't have to set you know file type on our uh, call in api endpoint when sending we can handle uh, normal file data as a normal uh, api endpoint uh, endpoint function so here we use data.set to set the file we upload and we just add attach that data to our body so the method is a post method and in the below you can see we are handling these uh, error functions if the endpoint returned a not okay we uh, throw error and also you can see uh, i have used a ref here to clear out the uh, uploaded uh, file like once the uploader is successful this ref dot current value is cleared out so this is the front end part uh, using inside the page.tsx so let's have a look at about this endpoint here api slash upload endpoint so inside the app folder i have created an api folder and inside the api i have this upload folder created and route.ts so this is how the api endpoints are created in next 13 so when we call this api slash upload it goes to this api slash upload endpoint and inside this route.ts file so you can see once the uh, we get the request this is how we can grab the form data so using this form data function we get the data and using the get value you can as you can remember we used get uh, dot set value here to set the form data data dot set value to set the form data and here we use data dot get value uh, to get the saved file so and also you can see here i have used a typescript assertion uh, to assert this file value to a file or for a null so in here also i have do some kind of validation so if the file is not there or if the file is empty or something uh, we return a next response with success fails and here uh, we have used these two uh, methods to uh, get the buffer values so once we get the buffer values we can you know pass it over a network or we can write it to a separate file or we can manipulate the uh, file data once we completed to uh, converted that to a buffer array so th that's what we, uh, we have done here so and after that what I have done is I have saved using the right file method in file system which comes with the node.js i have used write file to write this file in inside our application so one, once 
one thing to remember is once you give this you know dot slash uh, the path uh, to save inside our file location so you have to remember the relative path is considered from this src point right so we have to uh, go a file level back using this dot slash so then it's in the root level then we can give the files uh, uh, files folder so you have to create this files folder first if else there will be an error it won't create a files folder so you have this files folder here and it will be saved with the file name so you can access the file name as well once you uh, get it from the uh, form data so yeah then I have do a, done a simple console log to print the path and if it's successful you can uh, send an extra response.json file as well so what I'm why I'm telling this you know without coding it one by one I think it's very useful rather than looking at someone's coding you can just go through the repo I share and you can try it by yourself so you can try to create it by yourself and you know you can follow this code as a reference and also you can do some research in the in Google like see if you want to add some validation or something you can try it out and you can learn by researching and also you have a backup plan my code is there you can use it as a backup plan so let's see how it's working in the application so you can see I'm in the upload route and I'm going to select uh, one of the file let's see image upload it and once uploaded you can see this file is name is getting cleared and let's go inside the files and see you can see it has uploaded the uh, image that I uploaded using the front end so it has successfully logged the uh, path as well here you can see this console log has been triggered and we can see our image as well in here instead of doing this away dot write file and use this file to write inside your project you can use this to upload it to s3 bucket upload it to a database or anything the next video i will share, share you how to do this uh, completely using the incoming server actions using server actions using xjs server actions you can do the same so see you guys in the next video and make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel and have a nice day